Hello and welcome to this demo of Talent Integration Cloud. A lot of companies today have made a commitment towards moving to the cloud. For the most efficient, effortless experience, a data integration process must be as automated as possible while keeping costs under control. Some companies leave their AWS, EMR, and Redshift clusters running 24-7 since they can't always predict when jobs need to be executed. Leaving clusters on idle costs money. That's why we provide seamless Amazon's AWS integration for big data workloads using on-demand Redshift analytics and transient EMR clusters together with Spark. This video will demonstrate the advantages of completing this through Talent Integration Cloud. First, I must invoke the starting of an EMR cluster. Afterwards, I'll run a Spark machine learning process on the cluster. I have an existing process generating new product recommendations on a nightly process. Here's our start EMR cluster flow. It's a standalone process that uses some AWS configurations and parameters to determine the key aspects of the cluster. Now I can switch over to the AWS console and view available EMR clusters. The cluster I just started from Talent Integration Cloud, ALS Model EMR, is now being provisioned. Next, I need to clean up our previous day's model on S3 before starting the new recommendations model Spark process. I'll run the flow, S3 model cleanup process, and can switch to S3 and see my model directory is empty. To update the customer recommendation model using the Spark Machine Learning Libraries with Talent, I'll move my nightly customer data to where the EMR needs the data to be. This flow, called Build Customer Recommendation Model, builds a new model by reading AWS S3 files containing all ingested customer ratings data from the prior day's activity and any historical rating data. I have some basic parameters I need to configure, like the input file path, and model location on S3, and I will go ahead and run the flow. In the AWS EMR Hue browser, the process is running on the cluster. As that completes, we can go into the AWS console to see the new model created on S3. I'm using S3 for my input data and my output of the model, which allows me to stop the EMR cluster once the model refresh is completed. S3 and EMR are separate from each other, a true separation from storage and computing power. I'm done with my EMR cluster for now, so I'll stop the cluster with this Stop EMR Cluster. Once I start the flow, the cluster in the AWS is being terminated. To save time in the future, these four key steps used to complete this whole process can be compiled using execution plans. Within the Operations tab, I'll select Execution Plans. I have two plans here. I can use EMR Spark's ALS Nightly Model Refresh to schedule multiple flows to run in a specific order. This plan starts an EMR cluster, clears the previous model on S3, creates a new recommendation model, and then stops the EMR cluster. If I drill down into Resume Redshift DW to load new recommendations, I see three steps or flows. Resume Redshift, Load Recommendations, and Shut Down Redshift. I'll start this execution plan. Back in the AWS console, I can select the Redshift services. I see my new Redshift cluster is starting. I could extend my functionality by integrating Talent Integration Cloud Studio with the cloud. I have the action Redshift Load Recommendation Ratings Target ran in the middle step of the execution plan that uses the copy command to load the recommendation data from S3 into Redshift. The job is uploaded to the Talent Integration Cloud and added in the flow to then be run after the cluster is started. By deploying these workflows to Talent Integration Cloud, you can make sure that all departments within your company can make use of the innovative big data integration workflows that you've created. When everything is finished, I must shut down the Redshift cluster with a snapshot, a backup to be used later. All this is completed from Talent Integration Cloud using these streamlined execution plans. Now I have refreshed my Spark recommendation model for my next day activities 
and loaded the refreshed recommendation in my Redshift DW for future analytics. I hope this video has helped you appreciate the ability to automatically start and stop EMR and Redshift clusters, saving you, big data developers, architects, and database admins, time and money while running analytic workloads. All done using the AWS platform together with Talent Integration Cloud. Thanks for watching.